for all of you folks out there photography doesn't need to be expensive and today we are looking at this um, one of the cheapest lenses you can get for the micro four third platform the olympus 15 millimeters f8 lens cap lens Before I start, I want to announce a Christmas giveaway, but you have to wait until the end of this video to find out what it is and also how to enter the competition. So let's look at this little guy here. Um, I have to make it clear though, Olympus doesn't consider this as a lens and you won't even find it. If you go into the online store, it's not in the lens uh, category. You have to go to the accessory category to actually find this thing. Uh, you have to browse through all the lens strap, layer cases, battery before you can finally see this little thing here that looks like a lens cap next to all the other lens caps <laughs> and, uh, uh, and yeah it's weird you know like, because this is actually a fully functional lens and it's actually a pretty good one as well I find that you know if you are new to the photography scene or just starting out as a, a micro photo shooter if you want to improve your uh, photography skills I actually highly highly recommend you to get this this is really really something and i can guarantee that and i'm going to show you why this is so important uh, for your photography and it's a worthwhile accessory accessory yes <laughs> accessory or oh, uh, lens <laughs> So why would you need this lens cap thing? And uh, well, like I said, is this actually a very cool and awesome lens on its own? Well, it's not a pro lens, not weather seal or anything like that, but you know, it's a very, very cool tool to train your photography. And trust me, if you are familiar with street photography, uh, you all heard about the zone focusing uh, uh, techniques that we always use on you know on the street when we used to you know shoot on the street with the film cameras uh, by setting the lens into f8 you know basically you get a greater depth of field so you can uh, take the snapshots the moment shots that you want without any delay you know that's the main point I'm trying to say you know like uh, by using some focus technique you don't have to wait for the AF to confirm and you don't have to wait for you know a lot of things you know the computer the computer these days needs time to process but you know you, you're basically illuminating all that and also by fixing the aperture into f8 in, the, in this lens and uh, uh, so you have one less things to worry about as a photographer especially when you are you know a beginner for instance um, you really want to learn the relationship between the, uh, the aperture the shutter speed and the ISO uh, uh, it, it's very important to actually starting to understand the relationship between them by fixing one of them basically you can start training your your, uh, your the other areas so you can actually really improving your skills by just doing that and that's actually one of the things I always train my students about uh, uh, learning to compose and, all, and also learning to observe and get that moment shots by setting song focus because you don't have to wait for everything you know like so many times people always complain to me uh, oh yeah my AF is not working it's not focusing it's not locking on it's not to the things that I want to focus on but you don't need all that you know like if you ask a lot of street photographers, no, they never worry about anything like that. They're still using manual focus cameras like the Leica, for instance, or even if they have the uh, uh, DSLRs or mirrors cameras now, they set it to manual focus anyway. So there you go. This is pretty awesome. Build quality. Well, usually <laughs> I would say good things about build quality in any Olympus product. 
this is the exception well you know it's still well put together don't get me wrong but this thing is entirely made with plastic i think the only metal components this thing actually has is the screws and the little spring inside and uh yeah that that's the only uh, that are the only metal com uh, components that this lens has other than that is uh, plastic fantastic i guess you know uh, yeah it, it's well put together you know and uh, but nothing to scream about so i guess this 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 time is probably one of the shortest um build quality review i've ever <laughs> I've done on the on the product <laughs> You probably guess what I'm going to say about handling is because uh, it is great. You know, just look at the size of this thing, and it's made from plastic, so it's super and not super ultra lightweight, and it doesn't feel anything. In fact, that's one of the reasons why they call it lens cap because it, it weights like a normal lens cap. You know, and uh, it, it it really is that awesome. You know, um, when you put it on a smaller body like this, even on the EM1 Mark II, and uh, it, it just feels great because it's. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel anything. So when you hold it, it doesn't weigh you down. And in fact, you know, you can see that I'm not carrying my usual Billingham bags. I just have my normal rucksack. I just chuck this whole thing in my back and forget about it. And uh, it's just acting like a point and shoot camera in a way. So it's, it's cool. You know, it does remind me of, um, yeah, the old Olympus uh, film camera. You know that um, that uh, Olympus XA series of rangefinder cameras? They have a fixed lens, 35 millimeters, 2.8. Um, that's a brilliant film camera. But this does remind me, once you mount it on the camera like the EPL9, it feels exactly like that. You just point and shoot, you know, you get some great results. And lastly, the image quality. Well, some of you might think that, you know, such a cheap lens will have, you know, really terrible uh, image quality. And in fact, I actually think it's not bad. You know, it's, it's equivalent, you know, uh, to a normal kit lens that you buy from a camera. Uh, it's no worse than that at all. You know, in fact, I actually think it may actually outperform them slightly because it's a, it's a prime. Um, so it's actually pretty decent in the center and the edges may be just a little, little bit soft. And at F8, you know, everything is gonna look kind of in focus anyway. So yeah, I think the perceived sharpness is actually a lot higher than you might think because most people usually when they pick up a lens, they shoot a slightly wider aperture like 3.5 or 5.6. And uh, so this things, you know, does produce decent quality images and uh, um, but one downside like I mentioned before you know the, uh, having a fixed aperture f8 that means that you know in days like today you know you might have to um, can increase the ISO or lower the shutter speed to compensate the, lo uh, the lack of light and uh, uh, so I, I guess you know like you could say the image quality is affected by that indirectly you know but you know in good lights this thing definitely produced something pretty cool uh, but it, having said that earlier i've done some black and white shot and i actually specifically used the uh, the grainy uh, black and white filter on this camera and it turned out actually pretty amazing it does remind me of the old days you know when they're using shoot the ilford 400 black and white film uh, push it to 800 and or 1600 even you know have the ultra high contrast grainy stuff um, and with this lens it actually turned out pretty nicely and, and I'm, I'm not joking it's actually really decent um, so image quality I actually surprisingly say is actually quite good focusing this thing is 0.3 meters which means 30 centimeters but I can get quite close because it's f8 not bad you can see that's the bit that's in focus so when I switch it to infinity woo, it's got a little bit of focus breathing but other than that it's not too bad people don't know what focus breathing is 
focus breathing is when you switch from close to infinity it will have this bloating effect on the screen would I recommend this lens cap accessory as Olympus calls it um, it's a definite yes even more so than anything else that I've reviewed so far only because of the price you know and uh, it's cheap you know seriously it's cheap for a lens cap and lens combo kind of thing you know it's pretty cool you know like having the, the thing close you can really use it as a normal body cap actually I wouldn't say lens cap but body cap um, so it, it's cool it's light and light and thing it's flat that means you can really just slip into your coat pocket or yeah just just somewhere you, you, you always have a space to fit this thin little pancake thing and uh, it's, it's pretty cool and it's a fully functional lens so decent image quality and you can shoot a lot of stuff in it and uh, if you really want to train your eyes in street photography this is the perfect tool I'm guarantee, I'll guarantee that yes wholly recommended it you know but you will not be disappointed with this and uh i certain things are pretty cool and it comes with different colors you know you've got the silver and it has the black and i don't know if they still do the red version but if you can find it it could be quite a festive thing as well since it's now christmas time It's Christmas giveaway time, so today we're giving away this, the magnificent Olympus 15mm f8 lens cap lens that we just reviewed to one lucky winner. So how do we win this? By checking how many of these appear in the entire video. <laughs> yes, that means you have to go back and watch it all over again. <laughs> so cool. And uh, yeah, we're going to announce the lucky winner together with the results. Um, oh, the correct answer through our Facebook page on Christmas Day. So yes, check it, check it, you know, and good luck with that. And we're going to start you up with counting. Yeah, this does count as number one. So uh, yeah, now go back and start counting. Yeah, remember, they can appear anywhere in the video. Pay attention. Slow it down. No skipping. Today we're looking at something quite unique. Uh, the cheapest way to improve your photography by this. The smallest and tiniest and lightest Olympus 15mm. <laughs> if you're just starting out or you want to find a very efficient way to improve your photography, you can look at this. The 15mm fisheye. <laughs> I keep using fish eye, not fish eye, lens, lens cap, lens cap. For all of you folks out there, ex blah, 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 one more time, one more time, okay. It's actually a pretty cool um, stuff on your camera and uh, well, let's make it a very, uh, blah, 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 start again, start again, ah, oh, fuck it, come on. They do label this as a lens cap, but it's a, yeah, it's a lens cap lens, so yeah, it, it is a lens, but they don't consider it as a lens. <laughs> <laughs> Would I recommend this accessory? <laughs> well, this, this short answer is a definite yes. More so than anything else. Uh, okay, one more time, one more time. It's Christmas giveaway time and you will... Uh, no, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Well, it's Christmas... Uh, yeah. Remember to go to our Facebook page, subscribe so you get notification when we post something. Uh, so you know when the... Uh, when, well, who the winner is. 